G'day guys, I'm back and I'm doing the big pour today. As you can see, I've got a nice big board. This is a timber board. Uh, with the big pours, you've got to be careful that the canvas doesn't tilt in the middle, sag in the middle with all this paint. So I've gone for a board and it should work well. So I'm going to do my swipe colour, which is the navy, down the centre. And I've got two of everything. So I'm going to do this colour on this side, those ones on that side. I've already added my um, oil. Today I'm using Dimethicone 1000. It's really thick. Um, I've just put it into a little squidgy bottle like this so I can get one drop out at a time, otherwise it just pours out. I've already put the Dimethicone in all my colours except the swipe colour. And I'm only going to stir it a couple of times like that. Don't want to break the oil up too much, otherwise you'll end up with tiny little cells. So I'm going to have to walk around the table every time I want to get to the other side, so bear with me. It's a big canvas. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use probably one and a half, maybe two of these navy blues. These are global colours um, and the ratio on this one is four to one. So four parts Floetrol. There's my Floetrol and I've used this whole jug in these paints. So four litres, one gallon to do all of this. So this video, because it's going to be a long video, um, it's going to be in two parts. So the first part will be the prepping, laying all the colours, and in the second one I'll swipe. So bear with me with that. Might need a little bit more, we'll see how we go. I'll try and be as quick as I can. Now it's not terribly exciting watching this, but it's an important step. Make sure that your edges are covered, just in case you don't end up tilting over, totally over the edges, you want your, your edges to be done. So I'm just using the palette knife basically pushing the paint over the edge push it over let it run down the sides get a nice smooth finish and then I'll go around with the palette knife and just smooth my edges basically just pushing it over the edge it flows down like a little waterfall over the edges silicone in the swipe colour. Just fixing up the sides. And I do this with all the pores I do, not necessarily just the swipes. All pores I cover my edges. when you're tilting the canvas you don't have to tilt too much to get your sides covered. These little spatulas are really good because you can pick paint up easily like that and pop it on the side. Smooth it off. Nearly done. A little bit more. So 
So today I've used uh, two brands of paint. I've used Global, the Impasto, the thick paint, as opposed to the Flow acrylic, which is really thin. And also a couple of Liquitex Basics colours. Only because I couldn't get the light blue that I wanted in Global. Global's always bringing out new colours, so hopefully they'll bring us some new pretty light blue colour. Takes a long time to cover these edges. Okay, that's done. If you miss anywhere, you can always touch it up after the pour. So the colours I'm using are Cool Blue by Global, that one, Turquoise, which is mixed 50-50 with white, and then we have the Liquitex Basics Primary Blue, that one's mixed four parts Floetrol to one part paint, it is thicker than the Global. Liquitex Basics, light blue permanent, four parts Floetrol, one part paint. The global ones here are three parts Floetrol and one part paint. And then we have our two metallics, which is metallic silver and metallic pearl by Global. The metallics, they act differently when they're mixed with other paints. So they start off looking really thick. Once they've mixed with other paints, they get quite thin and you need to mix them two parts Floetrol to one part paint. Right, um, I think we're ready to go. Just move all these out of the way. I've put a mark down the middle of my canvas where the um, navy blue is going to go, so I don't want to pour past there. So I'm just going to pour these colours on. Going up to my line there, I don't, we can't see it. I'm very, very light, I don't want it to really show through. I'm going to pour all these colours out. Pouring your colours, try and overlap them. So I'm going to go with a lighter colour next. Try and overlap your colours if you can. I'm going to tilt anyway so the colours will blend a bit, but if you want to get cells that are multicoloured, Try and overlap your colours. That's a really pretty light blue, this one. This is the Liquitex one. Get all that out. And I'm going to go with a little bit of the navy. I do want a little bit of negative space. to be blue, a bit more navy will be good. And the navy should act really nicely with the metallic pearl. Okay, now, uh, this one. Doesn't really matter what order you do it. I'm just going to try and get some Lighter with the darker, as I said before. Light and dark, we give you pretty cells. Keep an eye on the time. I've only got about 20 minutes that I can take for before my memory card is full. Then I'll stop it and upload it. I'll go to the next one. Now, this is the 
depois. Qual é bom tirar depois? Love the blues, the turquoises and the blues together. And my favourite, keep coming back to that colour scheme. Now, the silver, just want to drizzle that on. Where the silver touches the colours, you'll find that those coloured cells will be bigger than cells without metallic paint on them. Metallic paint seems to stretch the cells more. Not sure why. I used to make my metallics the same 3 to 1 um, ratio as my other paints and I used to get these massive cells all sort of out of shape. I didn't like it so experimented and made it thicker. Now, the cream. Drizzle that on. Cream will look really pretty against the, the navy. When you're swiping, your swipe colour needs to be a little bit thinner than your other colours. So that it pulls nicely over the colours. If it's too thick, um, A, it won't move properly and B, your cells won't be able to come up from underneath. Because the paint's too thick and heavy and the cells just can't make their way through, the oil can't come through. Right, now move this up, do the other side, start with our navy, well not our navy, our bright blue. anything. Used a lot of paint on this pour. It's expensive. In Australia um, a gallon or four litres of Floatron costs $53 Australian. And I think over in America it's really quite cheap. I don't know why that is. You're just lucky, I guess. If I go through $53 in one pour, plus all the paint, works out to be quite an expensive venture. So if you don't want to get it wrong. grams of paint in these big cups. How am I going for time? About seven minutes left. Of 
navy in this too. Just make sure that I've got enough of my navy as the swipe colour before I use it all up. This is just going in the centre. So, once I tilt the board, the paints will spread out a little bit more and all those gaps should fill. through here. Now we've got our silver and our pearl still to go with the layering. There we go. A little bit of silver through everything. Up and down, up and down. Scrape it out. least our lovely pearl. There we go. All paint out. is going to hit first. And we swipe down. Okay. I think that's it. Turn this video off now. And I'll see you for part two.